Okay, this is part two of that light commutated motor that I showed back on the um, 8th of June. And I um, just wanted to go through it one more time and explain what's going on here. Um, back in 1962, Daryl Ch Chapin, who helped invent the solar cell, came up with a toy that uh, he showed, uh, I wrote a paper on stuff, that used uh, solar cells with a coil of wire and suspended in such a way that the light hitting the solar panels not only powered the coil, but they commutated it in such a way, depending on the light hitting the, the panels, to cause rotation when it was repelled or attracted by a permanent magnet. And so he called it the light commutated motor. And it was not only powered by light, but it was commutated by the light, which means it was told when to turn on and turn off, basically, by when the light hit the panels. And um, later on down the line, a guy named Larry Spring, uh, who lived in Mendocino, California, came up with a magnetically levitated version that uh, made it even better because he reduced the friction on it by using magnetic levitation. And that's what I've done here today is uh, the basic Mendocino motor only with two panels. Normally they have at least three or, or many more of these panels and coils. But uh, I got this to work with just uh, using the two coils and a single, I mean, two, two panels and a single coil of wire. There's the spec on it. This is about um, 10 ohms. And um, on that version there, you have to drill a hole through the sewing machine bob and then wind the coil in such a way that... Uh, it's not too out of balance for that to work. But uh, this basically is, they're all called Mendocino Motors now, but the original concept was by Daryl Chapin back in 1962. Now this was the first one I built here. And um, like I say, it's just a sewing machine bob filled up with 30 gauge wire with these two panels that are pretty potent. They're half a volt, but they pump out 100 milliamps. And that was enough to make this work when you put the light on that just right and shaded one side of it, the thing um, the thing would run. And that runs on ambient light. It's a cloudy day here, but it's, it runs on ambient light. Uh, it's just a needle hung from a magnet. And this thing is uh, just suspended and it works great. This was a lot harder to do. And I do not recommend building a Mendocino motor with just two panels. It's too hard to get it to work. The light has to come into that just right. It doesn't self-start. You have to hand start it. And it was very finicky. But uh, anyway, this is, um, I just wanted to explain what I was doing here with this uh, light commutated motor. Now you can do a Wikipedia search for the Mendocino motor and uh, find out the whole story about uh, how this all took place. Uh, this one here, um, like I say, I, I finished it up today. I've been working on it for many days. But uh, I'm Lid Motor. This is uh, June uh, 12, 2019. And I finally uh, have something that looks like a Mendocino motor. <laughs> it took a while. Thanks for watching.